This video is part of a series of SSIS tutorial videos created by CozyRock. In this video, I will show you how to configure a package that uses the execute SQL task to execute statements that are in a file. The statements will create a table and populate it with records. This is a script I created that will create a table called alumni, as you can see here, and then it will insert 100 records into the table. And this table is uh, in a database called New Tutorials. And I'll show you that the table does not exist yet by refreshing the tables. And there you can see there's no alumni table there. And so this is saved in a file. And I'll close this now. And we'll go over to Visual Studio. So I already have a connection manager set up to create the table um, using an OLEDB connection manager. And of course, write all the records using this connection manager. And now I'm going to set up a connection manager to access that file that has the script in it. So there's query to create table is the file name. It's a SQL file. And now I'll drag the execute SQL task onto the canvas. I'll change the name. And now I'll open the editor and we're going to leave the result set set to none. The connection type uh, is OLEDB. And now we'll select the connection manager, my OLEDB connection manager. And um, so we're avoiding using direct input by using a file. So direct input kind of limits how many statements you can have in there. So if you use a file, you can have an unlimited number of statements in there. So that's one reason to use a file for your statements or your query. Another reason would be that you, you won't have to modify your SSIS package if you want to change the statements that get executed. So you could just update the file and not have to update your SSIS package. And then we'll select that connection manager that I just set up. And that's all we need to do. We'll just close the editor. I'll save the package. And then we'll execute it. And it was successful. So I'll stop debugging. Stay tuned to see the results in Management Studio. Are you tired of updating packages because of changing metadata? How many hours have you spent accommodating new source and destination columns? How many nearly identical packages do you have to maintain? Especially when you need to update hundreds of them. Well, you should check out Cozy Rock's Dataflow Task Plus component. Dataflow Task Plus provides the ability to acquire the metadata and map the columns at runtime. You can even use transformations on the data. Just add the changes at the source and destination, execute, and Dataflow Task Plus will handle the process of extracting, transforming, and loading the desired columns from the source to the destination without a need to change the existing package. It works with any standard SSIS Dataflow components, transformations, and application adapters. No more manual package updates. Design your SSIS data flows with Dataflow Task Plus and save hundreds of hours. A vision of completely metadata-driven processing is now possible. Download CozyRock's Dataflow Task Plus from CozyRock.com. It's free for testing and development within Visual Studio. Now we're over in Management Studio, and uh, here we'll refresh the tables again. And now you can see we have uh, the alumni table there. And I'll show you the data in that table. So it shows 100 rows. Thank you for watching. 
If you'd like to follow us on social media, here's how you can do that.